right. This is Michael with Michelin Metals. Back again to talk about what? I think you guessed it. Steel. So it seems like we've been talking about stainless steel for a few weeks now. And by a few, I actually mean several. Seven. This is week number eight. So for two months, we've been talking about stainless steel. Hopefully you've been here watching the whole time, paying attention, diligently taking notes. Seriously, though, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please subscribe. Please. Please. And so, if you are finding these videos interesting, hit the little button right here. That's a subscribe button. Little MMI button. Please click that to subscribe. And if not, one of these will be great. Little thumbs up. So this is the last of our series on the basics of the various types within the family of alloys classified as stainless steels. Today, we will be discussing nitrogen, strength, and austenitic and duplex stainless steels. First up is a category that has the austenitic type structure, but these alloys have higher strengths achieved by using nitrogen and higher levels of manganese in the chemistry. All these types are non-magnetic. Various grades were developed and made popular with the proprietary name nitronic. Three of the most popular are nitronic 40, nitronic 50, and nitronic 60. All have strengths nearly double those of the 300 series in the annealed condition. Nitronic 40, aka 21-6-9, is made in two variations, depending on the carbon content. UNSS 21900 has a 0.08% max carbon, and UNSS 21904 is restricted to 0.04 max carbon. ASTM standards, the grades are designated as XM10 and XM11. AMS 5656 requires the low carbon version. Nitronic 50 has 55,000 min PSI yield strength in the annealed bar form. And with up to 3% molybdenum for higher corrosion resistance, it is used where strength and corrosion performance are both important. For example, marine applications like boat shafting. Generic designation assigned to this alloy chemistry is UNS S20910. ASTM grade designation is XM19, and this grade is found in many ASTM standards. A typical aerospace specification would be AMS 5764 for bar stock material. Nitronic 60, aka UNS S21800, in addition to having high yield strength, is very resistant to galling. Galling is the type of wear when rubbing surfaces want to bond to each other. The ASTM grade designation is UNS S21800. AMS 5848 would be an applicable aerospace standard for bar stock material. Nitronic grades with the suffix HS indicate an even higher strength HS version that requires special processing at the producing steel mill. Proprietary name nitronic alloys require the brand name product. UNS or ASTM grade designations are generic. It's kind of like the difference between Tylenol and acetaminophen at drugstores, or Kleenex and tissue paper. It's all about the specs, and specifications, as always, are key to determine the complete requirements. Remember, check the spec, always. Our second category, duplex and superduplex stainless steels, contain both austenite and ferrite in roughly equal proportions. Chemical compositions are balanced to achieve high strength, high corrosion resistance, and stress corrosion resistance. The mixed structure has the best attributes of each and are most often found in found used in highly corrosive petrochemical applications. There is a response to a magnet due to the ferrite in the structure. A common example of this type of grade is 2205 or duplex 2205, with a UNS of S32205, which can also be certified to UNS S31803. Now that permits 
a wider range of some elements. The UNS designation is used in ASTM standards and like the other types we have discussed in the entire series, is in many other standards as well, is in many, many of the ASTM standards. Grades can be in many ASTM standards. Other UNS designations for duplex stainless are, and start with S32, 550, S32750, S32950, S32977. Other common duplex grades found in ASTM standards are Ferrillium 255, which is a UNS S32550, and a duplex 2507, which is UNS S32750. Duplex alloys are commonly certified to NAE standards for the use in the petrochemical industry. Wow, I can't believe it. We made it to the end on the basics of stainless steels. We have talked about so many different types. Austinitics, Martensitics, Ferritics. I think I just counted two. So let's go Austinitics, Ferritics, Martensitics, Semi-Austinitics, pH grades, Nitrogen Strengthened Austinitics, and ba -ba -da -ba, Duplex Stainless Steels. Those have all been discussed in the previous seven videos and now in this eighth video. And so if you missed any of those, and I'm not sure how you could have, why don't you head on back and check them out. And if you watched them all, and you watched this one, and you haven't subscribed, but you made it all the way here, please consider subscribing. Please. Because let's face it, if you made it all the way this far into this video, there's obviously something that's keeping you here. And so help me out and subscribe. That would be wonderful. And stay tuned, because next week, we're going to talk about something brand new. I don't even know what it is. It's a surprise. So stay tuned. And this is Michael with Michelin Metals. Thanks for watching. I'm out.